Welcome to the online service for Timonium United Methodist Church. We're grateful that you're here to worship with us. Our call to worship comes from the 104th Psalm. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty. And cover yourself with light as with a garment. You have stretched out the heavens like a tent and have laid the beams of your chambers on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot and ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundations so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. They rose up to the mountains, ran down to the valleys to the place which you appointed them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. Let us pray. Uh, gracious God, we pray that as you speak your word to your people, that we would hear and heed and be willing to serve in all aspects of our life. Amen. Our first scripture lesson comes from Hebrews, the fifth chapter. Every high priest chosen from among mortals is put in charge of things pertaining to God on their behalf to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with the ignorant and wayward since he himself is subject to weakness, and because of this he must offer sacrifice for his own sins as well as for those of the people. And one does not presume to take this honor, but takes it only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, having been designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Now the gospel according to Mark. If it's within your tradition to rise for the reading of the gospel, please do so at this time. Mark ten thirty-five to 45. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him, Jesus, and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit one at your right and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, We are able. Then Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and with the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, you know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. Whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. May God add his blessing to this, the reading of his holy word. <clears throat> 